Okay, today class we're going to talk about what is the better buy. So hopefully by the end of today we will be able to determine which item is the best buy using a unit rate and we will be able to determine which item is a better buy. So let's do a little review real quick. What is a ratio? A rate and a proportion. Well, a ratio is a comparison of like items. And you can typically compare them one of three ways, either as a fraction, with a colon, or with a TO. So you could write a ratio as 4 over 5, 4 colon 5, and 4 TO5. And that would be the three ways that we would write a ratio. Well, a rate is a ratio, but it compares unlike items, such as 5 for a dollar. Um, gas is $2.15 per gallon. So you're comparing dollars and gallons. They are unlike items, and that is a rate. And then a proportion is two ratios or two rates that are equal to each other. So this is what we use in order to find missing parts. If I want to, if I know one ratio, gas is $2.15 per gallon, how much would it cost for 15 gallons? You could use a proportion to determine that. So let's see if we can work a problem or two. Here's a, a problem I would like for you to work. It says Mary can read 22 pages in 30 minutes. How long would it take her to read a 100 page book? Write your answer in hours and minutes and round to the nearest minute if needed. I'll give you a few moments to work that one. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. It says Mary can read 22 pages in 30 minutes. So that is a ratio that I know that is a fact. And what we do is we can set up a proportion to solve for what I don't know. So I can say 22 pages in 30 minutes, making sure that our labels are, are known. Because when we set up our other ratio, that's what we're looking for, those same labels. Okay, so we've got 22 pages in 30 minutes. How long would it take her to read a 100-page book? So this is the piece of information that we're going to use in order to find how long it's going to take her to read. Okay, so this is 100 pages. So the pages will go in the same spot as the 22 does. So it's 100. Okay, and I'm looking for how long would it take. Now our answer, when we get it, is going to be in minutes. Now it says that we want to write our answer in hours and minutes. So we may have to convert in a few minutes whenever we get our answer. Okay, now to solve this, we cross multiply. So we take our x and our 22, multiply those together to get 22x. We multiply the 100 and the 30 together to get 30,000. Let's see, no, just 3,000, sorry, not 30,000. 30 times 100 will just give me 3,000. And now we need to find x. That's our, our whole job is to find out what this letter is. So I divide both sides by 22. x equals, and here's where you take your calculator and you do your division, 3,000 divided by 22. And you end up with 136.36 with a bar. 136.36 with a bar, because that 36 just keeps repeating. <coughs> so now we've got to finish this out, and we've got to determine how many hours and minutes will this be. Well, I know one hour is going to be 60 minutes. Two hours would be 120 minutes. So we know this is going to be at least two hours. And then when we take the 120 out, that means we have 16 plus a little bit more, so right at 17 minutes. Okay, so two hours and 17 minutes. Now, why would we round that one up? It says round to the nearest minute. Okay, so we could, you know, in, in this one technically, it says round to the nearest minute, so it would be two hours and 16 minutes. But would we actually be finished at 2 hours and 16 minutes? Because we've still got this little bit left, so we would technically 
round this up because it would take the next minute to actually read. So two hours and 17 minutes. This is kind of a review of solving proportions. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use that in order to find unit rate, okay? Because I want to be able to determine which is the better buy. And in order for us to determine what's the better buy, I have to be able to have something to compare to, which is a unit rate. So what is a unit rate then, okay? Well, a unit rate is a rate that expresses as it's, as it's expressed as a quantity of one, such as two feet per second or five miles per hour. So when rates are expressed as a quantity of one, it is considered a unit rate. So let's see if we can do a couple questions here and determine a better buy situation. So here we go. We've got two products here of, of types of paper clips. It says, how much is Nature's Notes paper clips per box? So we look over here at the Nature's Notes right here, and it says we've got eight boxes for $24. That doesn't show eight boxes here. It shows only six. But we go by the information here. It says eight for 24. All right. So let's see if we can actually do that. So let's set up our, our proportion. Any time you have a proportion situation like this, it's always going to be price divided by quantity. So we're going to take our $24 divided by eight boxes of paper clips. All right. So what I want to know is how much will that be for one box of paper clips? Okay, so if we actually do the math in this particular one, we would end up with 8x equals 24. So we divide both sides by 8. And we end up with x equaling, well, 24 divided by 8 is 3. So what does our answer mean? This means that these are $3 per box. $3 per box, okay, with this one right here. Okay. So is that going to make sense? What you're really doing in this particular instance, when we're just trying to find out how much for a one, we're really just dividing, right? So now what about sun stationary paper clips? Well, we'll do the same thing there. And we're going to come over here, and it says that suns are five boxes for $20. So we do the same thing. Price, $20, divided by quantity. Okay, and we're still looking for how much for one. So we do the same thing, and we end up with 5x is equal to... 20, divide both sides by 5, and x is equal to 4, or in this case, $4 per box. So we had the first group, Nature's Notes, is $3 per box. We had the Suns at $4 per box. So the question that we have is, which is the better buy? Well, if these are $3 per box, and these are $4 per box, the better buy is nature's notes, okay, because we're getting them cheaper. Now, you still kind of have to look at, you know, do I have enough money to be able to, to buy that, okay, to, to make it worth your while. So when you've got $24 and $20, you probably can do that. And what you're going to do on your assignment today is determine on, with two options, which one's going to be the better buy. So what I'm going to want you to do is determine the unit rate for the first option, the unit rate for the second option, and then tell me which one is going to be the better buy. So we're going to have three, uh, three questions there, eight questions, 14 questions total that you're going to do.